Some days the star Betelgeum will run out of fuel, collapse under its own weight, and then rebound in a spectacular supernova explosion. Some day, but probably not soon. Add to this, the supernova explosion of Betelgeum, Alan Pitti, a well-known astronomer, write as follows. Quite possibly, in the last 17 years, the star has shrunk by about 15%, red giant, and near the end of their life anyway, but we have never actually seen one blow up, so we do not know what this shrinking means. Due to its age, Betelgeum may supernova within the next millennium because it is hundreds of light years away, it possibly may have done so already. I doubt if I will live long enough to witness it, though. Kukai, also known posthumously as Kobo Daishi, 774-835, was a Japanese monk, civil servant, scholar, poet, and artist, founder of the Shingon, or True World School of Buddhism. Shingon followers usually refer to him by the analytic title of Odaishi-sama and the religious name of Henjo Kongo. He was the hardest monk all through the history of Japanese Buddhism. The word megalithic describes structures made of such large stones utilizing an interlocking system without the use of mortar or concrete, as well as representing periods of prehistory characterized by such constructions. Ale Stones is a megalithic monument in southern Sweden. It is a stone ship over in outline with the stones at each end markedly larger than the rest. It is 67 meters long, formed by 59 large boulders weighing up to 1.8 tons each. The carbon-14 dating system for organic remains has provided seven results at the site. One indicates that the material is around 5,500 years old, whereas the remaining six indicate a date about 1,400 years ago. According to Wikipedia, in 1989, during the first archaeological excavations performed in order to scientifically investigate and date the monument, archaeologists found a decorated clay pot with burnt human bones inside the ship's setting. Therefore, Swedish archaeologists claim that air stones functioned as a graveyard for ancient people. Ahiroshi Hayashi, however, claim here in this video that air stones is one of the rock calendars which has the same calendar system as Stonehenge in UK. Hello, my friends. I would like to thank all of you for submitting your review or comment on my bulletin board. Today, it's my pleasure to show this review and comment of my friends to YouTube subscribers here in this video. If you requested some additional information, someone will be in touch with you very soon, I hope. Uh, by the way, Albert Einstein once wrote as follows. The important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. One cannot help but be in awe when he contemplates the mysteries of eternity, of life, of the marvelous structure of reality. It is enough if one tries merely to comprehend a little of this mystery every day. Never lose a holy curiosity. Thank you very much again.
the Earth in its orbit around the Sun causes the Sun to appear on the celestial sphere moving over the ecliptic which is tilted with respect to the equator. In both astrology and historical astronomy, the zodiac is a circle of 1230 degree divisions of celestial longitude that are centered upon the ecliptic, the apparent path of the sun across the celestial sphere over the course of the year. Historically, these 12 divisions are called signs. According to Wikipedia, the divisions of the ecliptic into the zodiacal signs originate in Babylonian astronomy during the first half of the first millennium BC, likely during Median Neo-Babylonian times or 7th century BC. My conclusion is this. We were tricked by the U.S. government in 1969. Here I can show you some of the evidence. As to Mithratic Mysteries, Wikipedia write most probably being based on Christianity knowledge as follows. The Mithratic Mysteries were a mystery religion practiced in the Roman Empire from about the 1st to 4th centuries AD. The name of the Persian god, adapted into Greek as Mitra, was linked to a new and distinctive imaginary. Writers of the Roman Empire period refer to this mystery religion by phrases which can be anglicized as mysteries of Mitra or mysteries of the Persians. Modern historians refer to it as Mithraism or sometimes Roman Mithraism. The mysteries were popular in the Roman Mithraism or something and something. That is to say, nothing has been known about Mithraic mysteries. I, Hiroshi Hayashi, claim here in this video with evidence that Mithra has got golden hair, white skin, and blue eyes, which indicate that Mithra is Nordic or a Nordic deity. The largest white array man-made, or at least non-natural structure in the world, is in fact an ancient Tela formed systems of agricultural aquaculture canals in northwestern Botswana and northeastern Namibia, north of the Kalahari Desert in southern Africa. Obviously quite ancient, the canal systems no longer provide free-flowing water throughout its 105,000-mile array, but many sections show obvious intention to provide cross-sectional irrigation. Then I would like to ask you to ask yourself which one of us is more stupid, one who says this is a human creation or one who says this is an alien creation. If you claim that this was created by humans, I never hesitate to say, don't be stupid. It is commonly claimed that Genjo Sanzo, a high-ranked Buddhism priest, went to Nalanda University in ancient India to master true Buddhism. I, Hiroshi Hayashi, however, wonder if Genjo Sanzo really went to India, and here is my opinion about his mystery. Long, long time ago, here in Japan, there used to be a country called Inanokuni. Today's story is about the mystery of Inanokuni.
when we face impossible coincidence, then we feel something there beyond the coincidence, something that connects mysteries with other mysteries. Today's story is about the impossible coincidence. Wikipedia writes as follows. The Great Dyke is a linear geological feature that trends nearly north-south through the center of Zimbabwe, passing just to the west of the capital, Harare. It consists of a band of short, narrow ridges and hills spanning for approximately 550 kilometers. The hills become taller as the range goes north and reach up to 460 meters above the Muruvui range. The range is host to vast ore deposit, including gold, silver, chromium, platinum, nickel, and asbestos. Charles Holt wrote in his book about salient characteristics of the tall white ETs as follows. These beings are as tall, ranging upward of six to seven feet in height, and quite thin and frail. The skin color is chalk white. They are physically different from us in several noticeable ways, yet the most important physical aspect is that they are humanoid, a fact that is filled with significance. Their lifespan is about 10 times ours. They do not age as we do, but after around 400 Earth years' time, they undergo a second stage of growth, eventually reaching around 9 feet in height. Who are they? Where are they from? Igigi was a term used to refer to the gods of heaven in Sumerian mythology. Though sometimes synonymous with the term Anunnaki, in one myth the Igigi were the younger gods who were servant of Anunnaki until they rebelled and were replaced by the creation of humans. Who were they? Where were they from? We have to know that we don't know what we have to know. Rova Andrimubola, Madagascar, is one of them. It is just a ruin of something for tourists in Madagascar. In 2003, a team of researchers published a report in the journal Science titled Mars-like Soils in the Atacama Desert, Chile, and the Dry Limit of Microbial Life, in which they duplicated the tests used by the Viking 1 and Viking 2 Mars landers to detect life, and were unable to detect any signs in Atacama Desert soil. The region may be unique on Earth in the regard, and is being used by NASA to test instruments for future Mars missions. Due to its otherworldly appearance, the Atacama has been used as a location for filming Mars, most notably in the television series Space Odyssey, Voyage to the Planet. Seventy-two kilometers west of La Paz, high in the Andes Mountains, lies the mysterious ancient ruins of Puma Punk. The megalithic stones found here are among the largest on the planet, measuring up to 26 feet long and weighing more than 100 tons each. Puma Punk was an alien creation and was destroyed by aliens for some reason, not yet known. 
Or do you believe a story that Puma Punk was created by humans and destroyed by flood, as many conservative archaeologists claim?